So we are here in our event, Hit and Run, and I'm here with Tino. Awesome, amazing. I connect here, hello. And say it will be very good. Very good. Oh, very good. It will be very yeah. good. So nice. So we will go here, hit the streets, and uh, preach the gospel through signs and wonder. Amen. Okay, Paul Clark. Yes. And you have been out in our outreach here. And what do you think? Incredible. Wow. Wow. I'm blown away. Amen. This is. <clears throat> I thank God so much because uh, I saw, you know, I felt so much lucky. It was like when we went out, me and uh, I was with Thomas, we went out. I was think I was thinking maybe we're gonna pray for people, for, the, for people who were sick, and then but then God came up the powerful way, and I, I started preach. You know, God gave me words. We we, we pray for people. I, I started actually prophesy, give it words to people. I was feeling so much like God, how much, I, and I just felt God love to people through me. It was so powerful. So I can't wait to go out next time. This is so good. And it's easy, huh? Yes. It's easy to approach people. It's easy yep. to pray for them. Yep. Get a word of them. Yep. Because it's all about God. It's all about God. It's all. About, and when you say yes, God use me. You don't know how, what God will do through you and to people. You know because He wants He wants to use you. He wants to use you. So do you recommend this kind of training? So much. This is so good. This is so good. If you if you watch this. I want, can I encourage you to just come on? You need just come, just come. Contact Podrus, talk with him, ask him to come up because you will see God will, you know, God will do something special through you. You will see, you will, you will see it if you just say yes. It's so amazing to, to see that God is using you yeah. and He wants you. Also. Yeah. Especially when it is so easy. Usually yeah. you just want, you, it's just. A small adjustment. Yeah. Somebody has teach you a little yeah. bit. You see somebody do it, and then you can hit it by yourself. And that's what you do. We want to kick start the engines, yeah. so you can go and do it by yourself. Oh. And you have been out now. You see it easy, so, and you know you can do it by yourself. Yeah. And you you actually so encouraged. You just want to go now. Yeah. And keep on all day. Yeah, of course, of course. I just want to keep it out. This is incredible. It's made my day. Amen. So I'm here with Slatan, uh, yes. and he was uh, out with us in this outreach. Yes, I was. And uh, what do you have to say about uh, this way that we did today? Actually, it was uh, for me the first time, and it was amazing. I never felt like this before because it was amazing. Because you know, God is doing a lot of things in my life, and in our life and in everything actually because Jesus is the best he loves you he wants the best for you what, 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 what did and you see today? like miracles? yes I will I will start on promise but uh, I, I saw a lot of miracles uh, some people like have pain in some area and body and like get a heal suddenly because God is powerful God like uh, Set, I can say set, set him free or set her free doesn't matter but nobody like God and I saw a lot of miracles actually we we met uh, like a guys uh, sitting like around not so like all like 16 17 teenagers we can say and we talking with them them say like in the beginning oh, we believe in God we blah blah but I'm talking more about God in many languages, actually, it's not only when... I'm Was it easy to preach the gospel? It's much easier to preach the gospel when somebody gets healed yes. and see the power of God. Yes. But it, because they can't deny it, what yeah. happened? Yeah, they can't deny it. Uh, that's, that's true. And Is it the first time you go out like this? Yes, yes. First time to it, was, it was the first time. Yeah. In and my saw, whole my life, I guess. And you saw a lot of uh, healings? And a lot of healings, a lot of miracles. 
a lot of people like it's easy. interesting. Ah, it was easy. It's easy to reach to people because they are open. Yes. And yes. Uh, it's easy to pray for them also. I yes. mean, it's, 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 it's up to God to do the miracles. Yeah, exactly. It's up to God. But do you recommend this kind of uh, training? That somebody that knows it takes you out in the street and show you how to do it? Yes, absolutely. God showed me. God showed me how I do that. And I so saw in many ways, like I can say. And at the same time, I just feel in my heart, I need to do that, actually. Yeah. And uh, like, uh, just melting for, uh, how we can say, for Jesus or for, for grow, growing in faith also as well, how we can say. But it was amazing, it was wonderful, and I, I really like it, and I love it. Thanks. Okay, so we have been out today in an outreach. I call it hit and run. Hit and run, yes. And uh, you were out with two or three? Two guys. Two guys. So tell us about the day. Wow, 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 wow. God is so good. Um, one of the guys, a Syrian Arab, first time he does this, goes out to pray for people that are sick. And I could just walk with him, hand by hand, and just show him what it is to pray for people, to have faith in God, to touch people. Another guy from Kurdistan came with us as well. This is the second time he does this. He was a bit shy, but even with him, we can walk hand in hand and just show him how he can do it. It's all about furthering the knowledge that we've been taught to others. Jesus says, teach this to other people. Not just keep it for yourself, but go and teach it to others. Because it's not about us. It's not about my kingdom, my empire, my ministry. It's all about Jesus. And we want the world to know about him. That's why we need all of the workers to come together. A few testimonies of what happened. We met this man at the train station and the man who had never prayed for people before. He puts his hand on his chest and he moves it and he says he feels a bit different. And the man who had prayed was like, wow, okay, that's cool. So we pray again and he moves his back and his shoulders and he says, I feel a lot better. And it was amazing because that was the first person he prays for and automatically he saw something happen. Uh, we kept going, we talked to people, we got to witness the Syrian spoke in Arabic to a guy with crutches and just encouraged him and shared his testimony. We got to pray for them. Uh, we walked around all of Stockholm and just like looking around where is people we can talk to. And just to share a final story, we met this big group of guys, maybe 10 guys. Uh, and two of them were Christian, eight of them were Muslim. And one of the Christian guys had knee pain. And I said, I'm going to pray for you and I want my friend to film you. Is that okay? He's like, okay. So as they're all standing there on the side watching, I pray for his leg. He gets healed and everyone was wondering, what was that? So this just led to conversations and discussions and we had such an amazing time of just sharing about Jesus. We got to hear about their faith. I just love this because this is exactly what we do. I mean, we pray for people, we preach the gospel through signs and wonder. This is a so open door and people, you get their attention, what happened mm -hmm. and what it is and they can't deny what mm -hmm. just happened and then you preach the gospel. Amen. And, and something to end this video up with. One of the guys was saying, you know what, you have your faith, we have our faith. And we're never going to come anywhere. And I responded, I was like, yeah. But I hope that we can leave loving each other, not being enemies. But also, no matter how much we disagree, no one can deny that Jesus healed his leg. And the guy beside him said, actually God healed him. So the healing happened. No one can deny the healing, that his leg became better. It's all up to them to just believe that it was Jesus. Okay, so I'm here with my friend Andres. And uh, the time is 1.30 on the night. Yeah. And we, from 3 to now, we have basically been preaching. Like one hour we was eating. And, yeah, so, and it, uh, what do you say? 
It's been a wonderful night. I've been the one we have been preaching for so many people, We're praying for so many people, and people are get healed and really, really touched by the Lord. Mm. And uh, yeah, you have to say. So if I look tired, it's because I am tired. <laughs> but we had an amazing day today. And the day is not finished. No. It's so not. tell something that happened today. Yeah, we had a, a great time. We were praying for a lot of people. A lot of people got to to uh, meet God's um, glory, and they, they, a lot of people got healed, and uh, a lot of people um, got very surprised about that actually healing exists. And uh, it's a wonderful door when you get a healing to just give the gospel. And we had a lot of those uh, meetings that was wonderful and we had one guy that actually was so touched that he was crying and that's wonderful because then something is happening in the heart and something is being revealed and the cover is being uh, pulled away and that's amazing. Uh, we had an amazing day today. And you have been training people today also. Yeah, we had uh, uh, people from uh, Uppsala and from Göteborg that, that was here and uh, it was great, it was great. Uh, they had a great time and I had a great time and everybody had a great time. This is so easy. It is it's so easy to approach people, to pray for them, to see them healed and touched by God. It's all about God. Amen. And it's a lot of fun. It is. Amen. <laughs>